In the pursuit of truth in interpersonal relationships, we are often misled by external appearances, neglecting the deeper signals and clues. However, Stoic philosophy teaches us to interpret human interactions with reason and profound observation, thus better understanding the inner world of others. Today, guided by the wisdom of Stoicism, let us delve into 10 signs that reveal hidden emotion someone harbors towards you. Nevertheless, in our endeavors to analyze the behavior of others, certain reliable signals may increase our chances of understanding. Stoicism emphasizes responding to external challenges through rational thought and self-control. Therefore, as we learn to interpret the actions of others, we can better understand their true feelings. Although we may not be able to ascertain their emotions with 100% certainty, by paying attention to specific signs, we can gradually discern who harbors feelings for us. For instance, when someone passes by you and brushes against your arm, you might question their intentions. Through the lens of Stoic philosophy, we can endeavor to understand the motives behind such actions by maintaining inner calmness and rational thought. Learning to decipher these enigmatic behaviors is key to understanding the true feelings of others, as through focusing on inner tranquility and self-control, we can better grasp their genuine intentions. In this video segment, we will explore signs of someone concealing emotions in real-life scenarios, juxtaposed with Stoic philosophy. Stoicism emphasizes rational thought and self-control, considering inner tranquility and resilience as key to attaining happiness. Therefore, when faced with hidden emotions from others, one can contemplate from a Stoic perspective on how to understand and respond. Firstly, observe their eyes. Stoics believe that the eyes are windows to the soul, capable of reflecting true inner feelings. When someone harbors emotions for you, their eyes may inadvertently reveal a gaze of attraction and longing. They might unconsciously seek opportunities to glance in your direction because they are drawn to you. Stoicism teaches us to observe and comprehend the behaviors of others to better understand their inner feelings. Hence, when we notice someone frequently gazing at us, it could signify an underlying sentiment towards us. In Stoic philosophy, we are encouraged to tackle external challenges, including understanding the emotions and intentions of others through rational thought and self-control. Therefore, when we observe someone frequently glancing at us, we can maintain inner calmness, not letting emotions sway us, but rather approaching their behavior with a rational attitude. Through this approach, we can better comprehend the true feelings of others and respond appropriately. The second sign is their desire for solitude with you. Stoic philosophy teaches us to maintain rationality and self-control when dealing with others, while also understanding their needs and intentions. If someone harbors feelings for you, they may express this sentiment by seeking solitude with you. In Stoic principles, personal relationships and interactions are vital pathways to understanding the inner world of others. For instance, suppose you are spending an evening with a group of friends, and suddenly, one of them pulls you aside or finds an excuse to have a private conversation with you. Stoicism emphasizes communication and interaction between individuals, suggesting that through solitude with others, we can better grasp their inner world. Therefore, when someone shows particular interest in you and attempts to spend time alone with you, it may signify their desire to deepen their connection with you, seeking private moments to understand you more deeply and enjoy each other's company. From the Stoic perspective, interpersonal interactions are one of the significant pathways to achieving inner tranquility and happiness. Therefore, when we notice someone frequently seeking solitude with us, we can approach their motives with inner calmness and rational thought, attempting to understand them and respond appropriately. Through private communication with others, we can better understand each other's inner feelings and establish deeper emotional connections. The third sign is expansive posture. 
Stoic philosophy emphasizes reason and self-control, suggesting that our behaviors and postures reflect our inner state. Therefore, when seeking to understand someone's true feelings towards us, we can gather clues by observing their posture. When we are with our closest friends, we exhibit relaxed and inviting body language, such as open arms and relaxed shoulders. However, when we encounter someone we like, our posture may change, and we become more tense and self-conscious. Stoics believe that this change in posture reflects inner unease and uncertainty. Despite our desire to display confidence and charm, our body language may betray our true feelings. Hence, when you enter a room, pay attention to how someone's posture changes. If they suddenly sit up straighter, it may indicate hidden feelings towards you. From the Stoic perspective, we are encouraged to understand others' inner world by observing their behavior, thus better grasping their true feelings towards us. Through maintaining inner calmness and rational thought, we can better understand others' actions and respond appropriately. The fourth sign is a change in appearance. Stoic philosophy emphasizes reason and self-control, suggesting that our behaviors and outward appearances reflect our inner state. Therefore, when someone harbors secret feelings for you, they may express these emotions by altering their appearance. Have you noticed someone's style or wardrobe undergo a transformation? While they may typically dress comfortably and simply, in your presence, they seem to pay more attention to their appearance. They choose more attractive clothing, accessorize in an appealing manner, and spend more time grooming themselves. Stoics believe that this change may be to capture your attention and present a more charming side. Deep down, they view you as someone special, thus wanting to showcase their best self. From the Stoic perspective, we are encouraged to confront external challenges, including expressing our feelings and intentions, through rational thought and self-control. Therefore, when we notice someone altering their attire, we can approach their motives with rationality and seek to understand their inner feelings more deeply. Through maintaining inner calmness and rational thought, we can better understand others' behavior and respond appropriately. The fifth sign is when you make them jealous. Stoic philosophy emphasizes reason and self-control, suggesting that we should learn to confront external challenges and maintain inner tranquility when faced with others' emotions. How does this person react when you talk about other potential partners or romantic interests? Stoicism teaches us to observe and understand others' behaviors with a rational attitude. Friends often share details about their love lives with each other, but if someone has feelings for you, they may not enjoy hearing about your interactions with other potential partners. When you mention feelings for someone else, they may become silent, change the subject, or even exit the conversation. This is because they feel jealous and are unwilling to imagine you with someone else. Stoicism views jealousy as a negative emotion, indicating inner insecurity and a lack of self-control. However, Stoicism emphasizes the importance of rational thought and self-control. When faced with emotions like jealousy, we should strive to maintain inner tranquility and approach others' behaviors with rationality. Although this person may try to conceal their jealousy, if you notice changes in their emotions, that may be the reason. Through maintaining inner calmness and rational thought, we can better understand others' inner worlds and respond appropriately. The sixth sign is directional feet. Stoic philosophy emphasizes reason and self-control, suggesting that our behaviors and body language reflect our inner state. Therefore, even if someone hasn't explicitly expressed their feelings, certain body language cues may reveal their true thoughts. From the Stoic perspective, we are encouraged to understand others' inner worlds by observing their behavior. In everyday life, many people subconsciously point their feet toward someone they like. Stoicism suggests that this behavior reflects our inner desires and intentions. 
When we point towards something, we are actually expressing a desire to move in that direction or towards that place. Similarly, when we point our feet towards a person, we are conveying a similar message. Pointing feet demonstrates our subconscious desire to be closer to the person we're pointing towards. Though this may seem like a minor detail in body language, Stoicism posits that where the mind goes, actions often follow. Therefore, when we notice someone pointing their feet towards us, we can approach their intentions with rationality and seek to understand their inner thoughts more deeply. Through maintaining inner calmness and rational thought, we can better understand others' behavior and respond appropriately. The seventh sign is the silent language of love. Stoic philosophy teaches us to demonstrate our inner qualities and attitudes through actions, not just verbal expressions. Therefore, when someone harbors secret feelings for you, they may express these emotions through actions, often overlooked by others. People express and receive emotions in various ways. Some may loudly articulate their feelings through words, while others express intimacy through investing time and attention. However, there's a group often overlooked. If someone holds secret feelings for you, they may express their emotions by doing things to make your life better. For instance, they might bring you lunch on a busy day, assist you with daunting tasks, or simply do things to make you happy. Stoicism considers these acts of service, which may be a clear sign of someone hiding feelings for you. With each gesture, they try to demonstrate how much they care about you. Stoicism encourages us to embody our inner values and emotions through actions, not just words. Therefore, we should value these silent expressions and not overlook their emotions. By understanding and appreciating these acts of service, we can delve deeper into others' inner worlds and strengthen our connection with each other. The eighth sign is eyebrow flashes. Stoic philosophy teaches us to understand others' true feelings by observing subtle behaviors, rather than relying solely on verbal expressions. Therefore, when trying to discern if someone is secretly interested in us, we should pay attention to their non-verbal cues, often overlooked in daily life. Most people wait for grand, overt gestures to confirm mutual interest, but one of the most reliable signs of romantic interest might be happening right before your eyes. The next time you see this person, pay particular attention to their eyebrows. Studies suggest that our eyebrows flash up and down. When we encounter someone we find attractive, our eyebrows tend to flicker up and down, and vice versa. Stoicism suggests that when we like someone, our brains unconsciously mimic the same behavior when they raise their eyebrows. In other words, if their eyebrows flicker, yours might too. If you notice this sign, someone in your life may have stronger feelings than you realize. They might be afraid to express their feelings directly, but an eyebrow flicker speaks volumes. Stoicism emphasizes understanding others' true feelings through observing subtle behaviors. Therefore, we should value these non-verbal cues rather than solely relying on verbal expressions. By understanding these subtle behaviors, we can delve deeper into others' inner worlds and establish better connections with them. The ninth sign is nervous communication. Stoic philosophy emphasizes the close connection between human emotions and behavior, asserting that our inner emotional state directly influences our actions and expressions. Therefore, when trying to understand if someone is interested in us, we should pay attention to their behavioral reactions, especially during communication. It's common knowledge that being around someone we like can make us nervous. But how do you know if someone is particularly nervous around you? Nervousness often manifests as restlessness or clumsiness in behavior. For example, when someone is nervous, they may stutter or stumble over their words more, frequently forget what they were saying, or struggle to articulate their thoughts. 
Stoicism views these nervous behaviors as direct reflections of inner emotional states, and thus, we should consider them as expressions of inner feelings. Don't overlook these clear signs of nervous behavior. If someone struggles to express themselves in your presence, they likely have reason to feel nervous. They may appear confident in front of other friends, but you make them uneasy because they have strong feelings for you. Stoicism teaches us to approach others' emotional experiences with understanding and empathy, so we should keenly observe and understand others' emotional states during communication to build deeper interpersonal relationships. The tenth sign is secrets among friends. Stoic philosophy teaches us to not only focus on individual behaviors, but also observe their interactions with the surrounding society, as these interactions may reveal more truths and inner feelings. Therefore, when trying to understand if someone has hidden feelings for us, we should pay attention to their social circle, often overlooked in daily life. If you've checked all the signs on this list, but still can't find any clues, there's one reliable signal to look for. Instead of focusing on the person who may like you, shift your attention to their friends. Stoicism suggests that a person's social circle can reflect their inner attitudes and emotional states. If someone truly likes you, they may have already told their friends everything about you. They likely have discussed you multiple times, shared their feelings in detail, and speculated whether you feel the same way. Therefore, their friends might behave a bit oddly, laughing when you talk together. They might find excuses to leave you two alone. Whenever such situations occur, observe the reaction of the person you admire. Stoic philosophy believes that by observing others' interactions with the surrounding society, we can gain deeper insights into their inner world and true feelings. Thus, paying attention to how their friends treat you may reveal more clues about their feelings for you. In the fog of relationships, many unnoticed truths lie hidden. Through the wisdom of Stoic philosophy, we can see these signs more clearly and gain deeper understanding of others' inner worlds. If you found this article inspiring, don't forget to follow our channel, like, comment, and share to spread this wisdom with more people. Let's embark on a journey to explore the mysteries of interpersonal relationships together.